My fellow brothers, my name is Desmond. I came today to talk about what is happening on social media between Cameroon, sorry, Cameroon, Ghana, and Nigeria. Sometimes I don't know what the youth are up to. Like I don't even understand what our youth are up to. Let me just say, like Nigeria, they are trying their best now. They are trying to end bad government, bad leadership, and bad everything. I was thinking Cameroon and Cameroon and other countries they are going to like learn from it. Okay, let me just say Cameroon. Okay, let me just say Ghana. Wow, well, I won't do, I won't go straight to Ghana because I know that Ghana, the difference, the distance, like Ghana don't even have any boundary with Nigeria. So Nigeria and Ghana can argue. It's not my problem. My problem is Cameroon and Nigeria. No, Cameroon and Nigeria they are boundary from beginning from 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 north to west to south. They are boundary. Okay, let me say, Cameroon can be saying, uh, is this a country? Does a country have this filter? Why I'm saying, I'm not like saying that I'm supporting Nigeria, no, I'm supporting Cameroon. Mm -hmm. Don't don't quote me wrong. Cameroon is from Matana Home. I, I love calling, calling me Cameroon because I'm in Nigeria. Cameroon is from Matana Home, when Nigeria is from Matana Home. Nigeria is my father's land. So I would, like, I would like to say, Cameroon is supposed to learn from Ghana, from, sorry, from Nigeria. Not, they should not be coming on social media and be saying, because uh, I feel hard. Okay, Nigeria, we are trying to fight against corruption, bad government, by war, by war, by putting Peter Obi as our next president, just to, for, to, to end all these, all these presidents that have gone that, like imagine somebody that is almost 70 something years is still going for presidentship. It's not correct. Okay, let me give, let me cut you short. You are president. You are fucking, you are fucking ass president. I don't even know his name. President Phobia. Mm -hmm. He has been president for close to 40 years. Eh? And you people are not seeing anything. Somebody that is about 19 years older than Tinibu. Tinibu that you have seen is old. Tinibu is not old. President Pobia is 89 years old. Tinibu is just 70, 70 years old. And Nigeria, they are saying Tinibu is old. Tinibu will not go for president. Nigeria, Cameroon, I don't even know what, you, what is your problem. You come here. Eh? I know that you want people, Africans, to know this here. We have noticed you, but you push them from Nigeria. Hmm? Fight against bad government. Fight against your president, this president, this fucking fucking asshole, President Fobia that has been on president for good 40 years. How come one person? Cameroon is, Cameroon is not a all this monarchy, all parties monarchy like let me say like UK. Cameroon, after seven years, they go for another election. But how can one person rule a country for 40 years and then you are just there? All you can do is to come on Twitter and say, I'm saying, well, you should learn from Nigeria. Nigeria is your elder brother. Learn from them. I'm, I'm even blaming Nigeria that I even come if you are talking. All we're supposed to be focusing now is about talking about who is going to be the next person in Nigeria, not about coming to Kimura and saying, because I can't have this class, because I can't have this. It's half nonsense. It's fucking nonsense. That's not what you're supposed to be saying now. Okay, let me just see now. Okay, for example, this Nigeria Kimura people are talking about, you forget to know that Nigeria and Kimura they are brothers. Mm -hmm. Let me cut it short. I will take you back to the history of Cameroon and Nigeria. I will take you back to Nigeria independence before Cameroon independence. By then, let me say Cameroon, or let me say when you check Cameroon map today, you will see that it's just a small part of it that is speaking English. And by then, Cameroon was being colonized by three European powers, which is the, the, the German, the French, and the British. The French and Britain came together to fight against the German in Cameroon. And the struggle until they succeeded in defeating the German and Cameroon was colonized. By then it was not called Cameroon, don't cut me down. It was not never called Cameroon by then. I don't, I don't know the name. I was thinking about it. When the German, when the British and French decided they defeated the German in, in Cameroon and they took over Cameroon and Cameroon was now colonized by two um, alliance that is two, colo two colonial masters which is the Britain and the French because the Britain have colonized so many countries in Africa they decided to take small part of Cameroon and they give the French people the bigger part of Cameroon they, they took the northern Cameroon and the southern Cameroon then when the, 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 the northern Cameroon the northern Cameroon by then was the northern Cameroon decided to join Nigeria which I'm still coming to say about it and the southern Cameroon decided to stay in Cameroon Okay, then and, and those states that decided to join Nigeria in Northern Cameroon, they were the Adamawa state, the Bono state, and the Taraba state. Those three states, those are the states that left Cameroon and joined Nigeria and during 19, 1950, 1959, when they decided to 